It's been seven months into 2024, and we are witnessing revolutionary updates in large language models we had just become used to over the past 18 to 20 months or so. Whether it's ChatGPT, Claude, or Gemini, these AIs are evolving so rapidly that it feels like we're losing control. Today, I have some shocking LLM updates to share, including a major one where someone posted a full-blown LLM operating system structure on GitHub. Sounds exciting, right? So, let's get straight to the meat. OpenAI has just dropped a bombshell upgrade to ChatGPT back in May by introducing GPT-40 and packing it with advanced features for everyone, both paid and free users. GPT-40 is OpenAI's latest and greatest model, bringing you GPT-4 level smarts but cranked up a notch with better quality and faster responses across text, voice, and vision. This beast of a model is equipped with top-notch language skills in more than 50 languages. It's rolling out to chat GPT plus team and enterprise users. But hey, free users aren't left out in the cold. They get limited access too. Now, let's talk about some killer new features. First up is image analysis. Both on the mobile and desktop versions of ChatGPT, you can now upload photos to ChatGPT for translation, cultural info, and recommendations. I travel often, and man, the ability to translate menus just by snapping a picture has changed my life. Then, there's voice conversations on the phone app that sound supernatural, and to be honest, get better responses than both Siri and Google Assistant combined. If you're a Mac user, you can install the ChatGPT application and access it instantly with a simple keyboard shortcut Option Plus Space. This brings up the ChatGPT interface directly on the desktop where you can take and discuss screenshots, upload files and images, and have voice conversations with ChatGPT using the built-in voice mode. The voice mode is not available yet, but it's going to be available soon. And wait for it, real-time video interactions are on the horizon. Imagine ChatGPT explaining the rules of a live sports game while you're watching. Yes, Sora's integration with ChatGPT is set to give you an immense productivity booth. But that's not all. Data analysis just got a whole lot cooler. You can upload files, charts, and code to ChatGPT for some serious number crunching and assistance. Here's some more exciting news for Apple fans. ChatGPT is about to become your new best friend thanks to a major partnership between OpenAI and Apple. ChatGPT is getting integrated into Siri, meaning you'll be able to tap into its incredible capabilities using just your voice. Whether you need help with translations, recommendations, or any of ChatGPT's other tricks, Siri will be able to handle it. These awesome ChatGPT features are set to drop within the upcoming iOS 18, iPad iOS, and macOS Sequoia releases later this year. Claude has recently rolled out a significant upgrade known as Claude Projects, which marks a pivotal moment for users like me, prompting serious consideration of switching from ChatGPT. Previously, I heavily relied on ChatGPT's custom GPTs for tasks across my business tasks. Upon entering the interface, users can initiate projects directly from the main page or through the sidebar. Each project allows customization, starting with defining its purpose and scope, making it ideal for individual tasks or collaborative efforts within teams. Key features include the ability to upload various file types including Word documents, PDFs, and to the knowledge base, enhancing the AI's ability to reference and utilize specific data. Custom instructions can also be added, directing the AI on how to interact or respond, which helps a lot in streamlining workflows, ensuring consistent output aligned with user expectations. By inputting clear instructions and enabling the AI to access relevant documents, Claude efficiently generates summaries that maintain the intended voice and content fidelity. This function drastically reduces the manual input and repetition, saving significant time and effort. Moreover, projects support advanced features like artifact management, enabling visual presentations or code outputs alongside textual interactions. This integration enhances usability and caters to diverse project requirements seamlessly. Next up, let's see what Mark Zuckerberg has to offer. Meta dropped a bombshell in April 2024 with the release of Llama 3, initially offering it 8 billion and 70 billion parameter sizes. Right out of the gate, it's already shown its muscle, outperforming earlier versions of Llama and giving tough competitions to models like Google's Gemma and Anthropic's Claude Sonnet. But that's just the beginning. Meta isn't stopping there. They're gearing up to launch a massive 400 billion parameter version of Llama 3 in the next few months possibly hitting the shelves as early as late July or August of this year. 
This behemoth model is poised to stand toe to toe with OpenAI's GPT-4 in terms of sheer capability, setting the stage for a heavyweight showdown in the AI arena. In the early trials, the 400 billion parameter Llama 3 has already shown a remarkable promise. It matched GPT-4 on the MMLU benchmark despite having less than half the parameters, an impressive feat that speaks volumes about Meta's advancements in architecture and training techniques. Excitingly, Llama 3 will be widely accessible for both research and commercial applications. However, the open licensing for the 400 billion parameter version remains unclear, adding an element of anticipation to its full-scale deployment. For those itching to get their hands on the cutting-edge tech, whispers among WhatsApp beta users on Android suggest that a sneak peek of the 400 billion parameter Llama 3 model might be just around the corner, hinting at an imminent full release. Llama 3 will be widely available on platforms like Hugging Face and will be supported by major players in cloud computing, AI, and hardware. Think Amazon AWS, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, IBM Watson, Databricks, Snowflake, and hardware giants like NVIDIA, Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm. Google is also not giving up in the AI arms race. The G company has embellished its Gemini chapter with some serious upgrades which are turning the heads. First off, there's Gemini 1.5 Flash, a stripped-down speed demon tailored for lightning-fast performance and cost-effectiveness. It's built for high-volume applications that demand quick responses and minimal lag, making it a solid choice for those looking to optimize efficiency without sacrificing power. Then there's Gemini 1.5 Pro, which has beefed up its game in a big way. With an expanded context window that can handle a whopping 2 million tokens, it's geared up for tackling complex tasks with deeper insights than ever before. Plus, it's gotten smarter with code generation, logical reasoning, and handling multi-turn conversations. Google isn't stopping with just these upgrades. They're also revving up to launch Gem 2, the next gen of their open Gemma models. Packed with a fresh architecture that promises better performance and efficiency, Gemma 2 is set to push the envelope in open source AI, aligning closely with its commercial Gemini cousins. The wait is over, ladies and gentlemen. Now is the time we talk about the revolutionary LLM based operating system. Have you guys watched the Rabbit R1's reveal? Because in that keynote, the CEO talked about something called LAMP, or Large Action Model. Wonder what I'm talking about? Well, to make an AI-based operating system, not only do you need memory and knowledge dumps, but you also need to convert your commands into actions that result in you controlling your device. What we are talking about here is basically a framework having memory, knowledge, and action tools to build autonomous AI agents. It's called FiData, and in a recent update, the developer allows users to use this framework remotely by integrating it with another framework called LMOS. LMOS, or a Large Language Model Operating System, is a big deal in the world of AI. It allows you to run large language models on AWS, letting you leverage powerful AI capabilities easily. The idea came from Andre Carpathy, a well-known YouTuber and AI expert. He talked about how large language models could work on a CPU or the core of a new operating system, coordinating different resources to tackle complex problems. Andre's ideas have been floating around in his tweets and videos, and now, with FiData, it's turning them into a reality. The creator of FiData also implemented a version of it with GPT-4 as the LLM Live. He gave it access to Software 1.0 tools, a file system which can store its memory in a PostgreSQL database or knowledge in PG vector. Not only that, but he also tested the model's ability to browse the internet for information and the ability to delegate tasks to other assistants built for specific use cases. Now, why is this update so important? Well, this is because I believe it will profoundly impact the way we interact with computers in the future. I see a shift coming where computers will be able to make actions based on text or voice commands, rendering keyboard and mouse clicks obsolete. How useful will that be? I don't know yet. Let me know what you think about this iOS in the comments section below. Let me know what you think about this OS in the comments below. If you have the geeky knowledge required to test FiData yourself, please let me know about your experience, and hopefully we can start an enlightening discourse right below this video. I've created another video discussing this year's latest and greatest updates on humanoid robots. The link's popping up. Click now, and I'll catch you there in a second.